Rob Ross reunite because our man here, Benji Man from Benji Man TV. Happened to be in the same state at the same time. And this is super special because it's probably the last time we meet up before our retreat in Kauai where yes. Helm and Dan the man will be attending and hopefully Which, you. Which, by the way, I'm honored that you kind of featured me as one of your special guests because I don't know what I'm going to do there. How humble. Just I usually try not to look forward to things, you know, I like try to stay in present, but I can't deny that I'm excited to be in Kauai with this guy oh, yeah, and me. Awesome. Are you excited about the uh, radical honesty part of our uh, retreat? Uh, okay, back to Daniel's Adventures in San Diego here. Oh, I'm just noticing these kids. I mean, it looks like they're having a lot of fun, these guys on the bikes here. these They, they look so young and they, they're being pretty reckless. Anyone that knows Encinitas knows it's the home of Sean White. <laughs> and uh, I've actually been called Sean White. What, what's the guy? Who do you look like right now? Whoever that guy, whatever famous guy Jake Ducey looks like right now, other than himself. But on bigger news, <laughs> on bigger news, <laughs> there are look at the figs. They're coming back, baby. Do you see that? That's the sweet nectar that. Uh, the animal lives for right there, and I was just telling them how to eat the figs because it is important that you could end up with a raw tongue, and you don't want that. You just want to be a raw bra, not a raw tongue. Eat it inside out. And I would just like to deliver a testimony about the raw bras because I learned about a year and a half ago how to properly eat figs from Daniel's YouTube videos. So if you follow his steps, you're sure to create results. <laughs> That's very true because uh, actually JP and Diana didn't even know about it, but because he watched the video a long time ago, he was able to do it like this. Let's save the conversation for a little demonstration. <laughs> Mm. Uh, no, he's not really that excited. We're gonna uh, turn that uncomfortable into a fun comfortable. I'm not nervous, and <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually fairly honest. I tell you guys what I'm thinking. I already do, but I don't want to dig for something that's not there, which I think a lot of people do when you're around other people. I'm just being radically honest. Right yeah, now. I, I heard, have been a lot of. What I heard too. was he doesn't want to dig for something that is there. I heard that too. <laughs> All right, I'm so not sure if he wants to go there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see, save we'll that. See. We can't yeah. actually put that in video, it's a lot of context. <laughs> I was just. Dale, do you want to do anything before we. Some of these fingers in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to drive like that. I didn't have a motorcycle, but I used to drive really crazy. You might, guys might not know this about me. And I think I was 17 or 18 in high school, and I had already gotten a ticket when I was 15 for driving 106 and a 70. My, oh, they, the cop actually dropped it down 99 thanks to my mom's negotiations. I was actually 15. Goodbye. And then your tongue never touches the outside. Yeah, Only the soft, gooey center. And then you put the goat cheese in afterwards. Mm. And this brand doesn't pay us, but I wish they did. We're all naked goat. That's good stuff. Do you want to get a shout out on the goat cheese on the side? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the way the flavor saver, right? <laughs> that was messy, but yeah. eating fruit's a messy job. Raw milk's a fruit, right? Really? It's touching his butt, but if you see his butt, you would be doing the same thing. That's why I can't talk. But it's not in his hole, it's on his butt. Butt like crack. These guys are really me. close. I'm close to my brother, but I would never touch my brother's butt. <laughs> and I would never, he tried to bite his ears today. Oh, There's a thing, I'm a little touchy these days. <laughs> I didn't like that. Really and your it. wife was around too. I was like, what is I like what you thought was weird that he was kissing my ear in front of my wife. Oh, he was like trying to bite your ear. Bite, and then he said you felt something slimy on Oh no, not slime. It was like a sound. It felt like a water slide. It was like, <sighs> water slide. This is what I get to uh, hang out with for a week. But I'm I'm happy about it. And it's gonna be in a tropical destination. I'm really looking forward to the food, right? Yeah. What you guys sure. eat? Uh, the workouts, because you guys have such good physiques. I think you guys are role models for a lot. Can you show your taekwondo? <laughs> Do you have to love tennis? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. Look at that. So what's the what's the uh, type of dog? Uh, a Klee-Kai, K-L-E-E-K-A-I. And it's a mix of... It's a miniature husky. A miniature husky. So miniature, I'm not sure. This one in particular seems to be a toy. Toy. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> can, you clean, can you clean my camera screen, please? <laughs> What's her name? Luna. Luna, can you clean my camera screen? Luna. Luna. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. You know how you can drive with your parents when you're 15? And my parents were sleeping and there was like Lincoln Park music going and I was seeing how far I could travel within a song. Like, I'm going to travel eight miles within this song. So the song started getting down and I would just be burning it. And a cop caught me going 106. He dropped 99, got a lawyer, got the ticket. Kind of, I didn't get my license taken away like I was supposed to according to the law. But yeah, you know, when you're young, dumb, and full of cum, sometimes and you're amped up on fast food and hormones or whatever it might be, your hormones and other hormones that you do reckless things. And I was continued to be reckless until one day my physics teacher challenged me. Um, so as you can see here, we're very repeat approved today. We got a raw milk. You even missed my ice cream. We're taking a drive down from San Francisco to San Diego. And we have JP Sears in the helm. Hey there, Rob Bras. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to do the usual. We're looking for fresh bodies of water to jump in along the car ride because you know there's something strange about being in the car for a very long time. We're going to go to a little place called South Beach. See you there. I don't like to show off. Oh, what if I start trying to show off? Oh, if we tell you, then it's yeah, you can. But I don't show off. <laughs> but you can. I think there's videos of me okay. uh, doing Taekwondo. You can find online. So. All right. How do they find that? How do they find you? Just in general, they Benjamin and TV. That's my channel. But more popular is my wife's channel, which is It's G's Life, which is our vlogs, which they'll be in whenever. By the time this video is up, they'll already oh, be in our so vlogs. So let's do a little thing where if they see us in there, they'll see you in here. Yep. Because like, he taught us that. He knows that. Talking about online. Psh, psh, this cross, guy is cross collaboration. Yeah. Number one way to grow, grow your channel is cross collaborate. Wow. We're Actually, doing a good job then. All right. That yeah. was the tip of the day, baby. Kawhi. <laughs> that finger has been some Why places we all know we need. <laughs> Why did you do this? I told you, I'm, my mind is in And our class, not they actually didn't challenge it, but that's how I took it. He was just telling us, according to physics, the bus lane in our school could not be driven over 34, mile, 34 miles per hour. So what did I do? I turned the camera on. Before uh, Rob Ross, we used to have this thing called White Boy TV before we had did stuff on YouTube. and. We would just, I think it might even be for Jackass. Maybe we inspire Jackass. That's what I like to think anyways. Maybe jo Johnny Knoxville saw one of my videos one day. But the thing was, they said 34 miles per hour. And I was like, all right, we're going to go film me doing this curve at 35 Is miles per hour. That? Yeah, what are they doing? They're crazy up there. She's the least. Um, and sure enough, I did it at 35 miles per hour. All right, that wasn't good enough to please Mr. Danimal, unstoppable. I didn't even imagine something bad could happen. So there I go, uh, 40 miles per hour in cruise control. And sure enough, I lose control, anti-brakes, locked up. I had no control of the car anymore. Really ended up in the middle of nowhere here. So hot. What would you say the main difference between here and in San Francisco is, Diana? I don't really know where we ended up. I think it's called the San Something Reservoir. But guys, when you're taking a long road trip, you have to make appointments with yourself too. And we're pursuing our appointments now. I think the lifeguards are here to watch us. I go through the curb. I go through the fence. On the other side of that fence, the little that I knew, there was a cliff. Rolled down. Ended upside down. Car totaled. My mom's Lincoln LS, like souped up. Dual exhaust, tinted windows, just upside down. And that, and that moment right there, I was blessed enough to learn a lesson without getting injured that you are not invincible. You are not invincible, I am not invincible. 16 year old boys are not invincible as much as they think they are. Here they go again. The slower you go in, the more stimulating. How is that? Refreshing and big raining.
And I guess maybe the point of this video, if I could save someone's life by explaining this to you, is that it is not worth it. Some of those risks are not worth it. That's why we've gotten so into this risk-taking socially or making ourselves fun comfortable by embracing our insecurities and radical honesty because you can get the same or more of a high without putting your physical body and other people's physical body in such danger. And I really think that car accident saved my life because if I had continued driving in the way that I did, I would have probably killed myself or killed someone else. And that was a wake up call I needed, so thank God for letting me roll down a cliff. Um, and yeah, oh man, that was a lesson and a half. I'll keep doing a hairbrush in your glove box. And that's how you do it, folks. Road trip 101. And now Diana's going to go to the Fruitarian 101. Mm -hmm. That's how we do it. Now, can you give me the knife? <laughs> also essential for the road, unless you're in Denmark, because this will get you a ticket for carrying a weapon. A screwdriver will actually get you a ticket. So this is definitely illegal in Denmark. But in the United States of America, I'm not sure if it's illegal. <laughs> but it's definitely good for cutting fruit. I was so embarrassed and ashamed of that, actually, for a while, because I already had this reputation of getting a ticket for going to 99 when I was 55, when I was 15 and no one could drive with me already because I was this crazy kid so I kept that a secret for a long time. But now I'm, hey, that's the least of my secrets now. Hey, tell your friends. Daniel rolled his mom's cliff down, a, rolled his car down a cliff when he was in high school and there was a big hole in the school fence and everyone, I think people even asked like, what is that hole, do you see that? I was like, whoa, yep, I know about that. And luckily I, uh, Got a lawyer to if anyone's interested in the story. Oh, we'll get these people in the back and I'll tell the rest of the story. I, um, oh, are they filming over there? Is that what they're doing? Where? I think in the car. Is he filming? Is that why? Uh, I think yes. Yeah, the yeah. right one is. So we're filming him filming. Hopefully, this is not encouraging their behavior, but uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, here they now we give them now we're in now. Paradoxically and ironically, we are now encouraging these young kids to be stupid. Um, and reckless. Where they go? Anyways, back to my story, I uh, got the first lawyer told me, and this is a lesson in radical honesty actually, wow, now that I'm thinking full circle, maybe this is one of the first seeds that were planted in me of respecting the truth, and the truth will set you free, because my first lawyer was like, okay, this is going to cost $1,000, we're going to have to lie to the judge, we're going to tell them you sneezed, or you lost, you got distracted, or fell asleep at the wheel, and you went over the curve, and because we can't tell them you were videotaping this, is that's you'll get rest charged with reckless driving. You might spend a night in jail. I think that was the maximum punishment for a kid my age for reckless driving. And I was like, dang, I didn't feel comfortable. That didn't feel right. That interrupted my constitution to think that I'm gonna go into the court of law and lie. Whoa, or maybe it wasn't lying, maybe it was deceptive. Maybe I did sneeze for according to the lawyer. Next lawyer is like in awe of this story. He's like, you have this on film? He's like, let me see the film. He was so excited about it. And um, he actually, he said that his regular weight rate was 500. So it's half the other guy's rate. He's like, and he could tell I was still like hesitant. Like, should I actually, he encouraged me. Yeah, we're going to tell the Lord, we're going to tell the judge exactly what happened. We're going to show them the film. And that insecure side to me, embarrassed side, shameful side, was like, I don't really like that idea. You want me to go in there and admit how stupid I was? And he's like, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. And because... I actually know the judge. I think I went to law school with him. We're gonna be good, and I'm gonna charge you half the price, 250. And sure enough, I got out of there. Fail. They changed it to failing to yield left, and I had to write a paper on the physics of taking a turn. And I learned that when you take a turn, you need a little centripetal force. Side note. So you need a little acceleration. Without that, if you have a constant velocity, that might have been my biggest mistake, according to physics, was keeping it on cruise control. I might have been better off excelling into it. So if you are going to be stupid and reckless about taking turns, either accelerate, meaning slow down or turn or speed up, don't keep it on cruise control. Big mistake. <sighs> I'm talking too much, but people in physics might like this. Um...
Did you see that? You just saw a YouTube video being made. Now spot me. Kiss me. Yeah, but what happened, long story short, moral of the story, we were radically honest, even in the court of law, even against what I thought, even against the, the prideful side of me. I went and I embraced my insecurity. I felt really fun comfortable. Got away. And I got away scotch-free, got away injury-free. My friend got away injury-free, and we made it. So take what you will out of that story. At least, hopefully, you were entertained and, most importantly, edutained. Now, give me a kissy, Diana. I get the back seat because apparently the surfboard is more important. <sighs> if there was a way for the surfboard sideways, I would do it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Old faithful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, vlog on. Back in the vagina, the whale's vagina. Why don't you go back to Whore Island? Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm about to make my second appointment of the day with the ocean. I'm in San Diego, that's why. Why aren't you, why aren't you making appointments with the ocean? See you in there. Well, we're back in Zephyr's apartment and we found a raw vegan. Look at her. She must think, what is this mix you made here? Mangoes and papaya. Where'd you get those lovely fruits? San Francisco. <laughs> <In the ghetto. laughs> she's mad at me because she's gotten fat. Can you believe that? Look how sweet he is. Oh. All fat, make Asian jokes. That's what happens when you meet mixed fruit with fat. You're either raw primal or raw vegan. And when you're on the road, you're doing squats to keep those legs fresh. You don't want to have any blood clots, so you have to squat them out. Blood Squats prevent blood clots. Remember that, you old people. <laughs> Whatever all that means. Oh. JP's texting me right now. That I am. Uh, let's see what this says. Dan, are you almost done filming the vlog so we can go eat? Question mark. <laughs> mm. I can definitely feel some pigeon vibes in that combo. It's good. Yeah, I don't know if I'm in San Diego or Costa Rica with that meal. Mm-hmm. Why do you want to have better form than me? I'm not your go-to guy with squat form. But Diana is your go-to girl <laughs> for bar form. Yeah! Oh, you can really lose that fire in a long car ride, so you gotta fire up. Put the fattest girl you can find on your shoulders. Five no, more. No, no, you're oh, oh, down yeah. over there. I gotta keep her feet clean. <laughs> All right, a little vlog food action for you, Danimals Den. Welcome. So basically, in here is one of my favorite meals, and it's super cheap, and it looks like something weird's going on with the camera. Yeah, there's something on the screen. You want to we, uh... There you go. But because of the quality and quantity and price of this meal, I just have to share it with you. Basically, what I did is at the Seaside Market here in Cardiff, um, they had some sashimi grade albacore tuna and from what I understand you can correct me if I'm wrong al uh, sashimi basically means they deep freeze it so maybe less anxiety about parasites for you people that are scared of raw fish and I even tore it up I washed my hands and tore it up with my hands to see if I could find any worms because sometimes people claim there's parasites and worms in raw fish couldn't find any it smelled fresh use your own common sense your intuition those sweet little Asian feet what's this big? I put it in this plastic container here. I cut up a lime, squeeze the lime juice in there, and so it's cooking now. It's cooking with the citric acid from the lime. Then I put an avocado in there and squeeze another lime. 
And this is basically a hearty dish. I mean, that's a half a pound of raw fish for about five bucks. If you try to get to so much raw fish at a sushi restaurant, that can easily cost you 50 bucks. And the good thing about raw fish, especially with the little pre-digestive enzymes of the lime juice on there, is that it digests like fruit and it feels like the power of meat. And you wake up feeling strong like Popeye, if you know what I'm saying. The camera woman will tell you all about it. <laughs> but yeah, I highly recommend this dish. Uh, I love it and I'm gonna even spice it up with a little tamari. You just asked for a sample, so this huge great meal for the right price, baby. I'll take a little bite. I mean, I'll, I'll pull out a little piece of fish so you can see it, see it? There it is, and then you have a little combination of the, uh, you got the avocado in that bite and you have the fish. And you have the little, whoop, get the sushi effect. That's about right. It melts in your mouth. It's like butter. Butter. This girl's always just has something on her. <laughs> something, some kind of bag and some kind of bag with a fruit in the first bag and some kind of container. And that container is in another bag. But I actually just threw the tamari in the meal. And now we're going to see Diana take a bite of it. Because I know she's not going to say no to it. This is her third one. Mm. It's good. <sighs> How is it? How can you not like raw fish? Mm -hmm. Seriously. So good. I mean, she's got, she got herself a mighty fine grapefruit for under a dollar. Mm -hmm. let, let me give you a clue. When fruits are a really good deal, it's because they're in season. And when they're in season, they're the best. So don't go spend $30 on a watermelon in the middle of winter. Spend $1 on a watermelon in the middle of summer from your farmer. Mm. Like kick this, it feels like the grass is covering your foot, so it's like wearing a shoe of grass. It is like all warm. <laughs> so amazing. This is like 40 more guests. Screw rocks. Grass. Grass is so much more powerful. Because it's living. The grass is living too. It's not like, well I guess rocks have minerals and stuff, but grass. Just go for grass. It feels so good.